video for chapter 2.4 sensor mount okay guys again I've I had this step by step for you I'm going to zoom into the first um, diagram I have here up at the top we have a radius of 1.5 here and a radius of 0.75 so again create your center line Go to circle, radius, create these two circles, create a center line, and then you're going to offset that center line down to here five and a half inches. At that point, offset these two, or offset this center line over two to this side, two to that side. And when you come down here, you may have to do a little trimming and extend the line here. And when we get over here, you can see that I changed my um, layers to object. And uh, tri I, this line, I drew a line up, uh, one and a half on both sides. For these circles, I came over one inch from the center over and up 0.75 and I drew a one inch diameter circle on both sides here and created the center lines you can see that came up here I offset this line up two and a quarter and I drew two lines straight down tangent from this circle straight down and then I came over here and trimmed them off there and got this line here. I'm going to show you one of the. I'm, I'm going to show you how you get one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to delete this line. Come up here to start in radius, your arc. Just come up here and pick a spot here. Come down to here and type in 3.5 then we're going to use this command and again remember you're supposed to have these two um, you're going to go to get these two toolbars here go to tools toolbar AutoCAD and make sure you got geometric constraints and object snap these are your geometric constraints here and these are your object snaps Okay, once you have this arc in place, you're going to go here to fix and come over here and just highlight on this arc and you'll see that red X with a circle and it's going to lock that arc into that point right here. So it won't move. That's fixed. And next we want to get a tangent. Tangent, click the circle, and then left click the arc. And all you have to do is come up, up here to extend, left click, come out here, right click, and then go back to your arc, left click, and then hit escape. And do the same thing for over here, and what? do the same thing for this one right here. Same thing. Go to arc. The only difference, the radius here is four and a quarter. And I'll show you a trick here. I'm going to delete these two. Come up here. Once you get these two in place, just like I explained how to do it here, I'm going to uh, go to a mirror command. And it tells me right here, select the objects. I'm going to select one. I'm going to select two. And then I'm going to right click. And the mirror line, I'm going to choose that point there. And it automatically mirrors it over. Be careful not to move it. See how they're moving around? You want to come, move your mouse over to us in the correct spot, and left click. And then it's asking you erase the first two objects, and you're going to put no. It's going to, uh, mine right now is defaulted at N, no. And I'm going to hit Enter. And you don't have to redraw those two again here. And then again, I'll, I'll just match properties. 
So that's an easy way to mirror those other two over here. And then basically you're going to trim, come in here and trim, trim this off just the way it looks in the book. And then that gets you to this one here. And you can see how I transferred the lines up. And I, in my thickness for this part, I, I used a quarter of an inch on both sides. So you can look at this and see how I transferred the lines over. And come over here. And here's the final product. Dimension it like this. And uh, let's go here to my... I'm going to click this and delete it. I'm going to go back to model space, create a block. We're going to call it 2.4, enter. I'm going to highlight everything, go in my block, right click. I'm going to go to my title block, insert. Let's just try it at full, see how it looks. Okay, that almost fit. So I'm going to go back to insert, and I'm probably going to try... 0.75 and that looks pretty good I'm gonna drop that in remember come over here put your name chapter 2.4 and put me uh, if I haven't told you in the previous videos I want you to start make sure you have a material so you're gonna type material colon space carbon steel or stainless steel or something you got to have me some kind of material here and That'll do it. Turn that in for exercise 2.4.